Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers. And in this video, I'm going to teach you about the differences between 12 volt solar panels, 24 volt solar panels, and 48 volt solar panels. Now this is episode number 11 in a series I'm making that will teach you all of the skills that you'll need to be able to successfully complete your next electrical project in your camper. Now in the last video, we talked about how wiring solar panels in series parallel and series parallel affects the amps, the volts that are heading into the charge controller. And in this video, we're going to cover some of the differences between various solar panels of different voltages. So let's get started. Now, first and foremost, we need to take a pledge. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am going to stop thinking about solar panels as being 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt. Now that's out of the way, we need to take a step back and remember what exactly a charge controller does. The entire purpose of a solar charge controller is to regulate a high voltage of a solar panel array down to a lower voltage that can charge your batteries. So if we have a solar array that's pumping out 100 volts, the charge controller will regulate that voltage back down to a more useful voltage of 13 to 14 volts uh, that will charge your 12 volt battery. Now, let's look at some different solar panels. This is a pretty common 100 watt solar panel that would be commonly referred to as a 12 volt solar panel. But when we check out the specs on this panel, looking right here, we can see that this panel can actually put out 22.8 volts and can actually put out more volts as the temperature gets colder, nearly 28 volts if the temperature drops to a frigid negative 40 degrees. Now, what about this 300 watt, 24 volt solar panel? Let's check the spec sticker. This panel actually has the potential to put out 38.8 volts at its STC temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what about this panel that is being marketed as a 48 volt panel? Checking the spec sheet on this one shows us that it is actually capable of producing 58.8 volts at 77 degrees Fahrenheit and more as the temperature drops. So remember our pledge from earlier, stop referring to panels as 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt. When you're brand new to learning this stuff and you're trying to figure out how to wire your solar panel array, you're in for a really bad time if you wire six 12 volt solar panels in series to a charge controller that has a 100 volt maximum input, thinking that six 12 volt solar panels um, wired in series would be 72 volts when in fact it could be closer to 136 volts which would exceed the maximum voltage rating of your charge controller and would damage it. Now which panels can charge what types of battery banks? Now not too long ago somebody found one of my solar wiring diagrams on the Explorers Life blog where I was showing an array of 48 volt solar panels, 48 volt solar panels, charging a 12 volt battery bank and they left a comment saying, what an idiot, you can't charge a 12 volt battery bank with a 48 volt solar panel, you need to take this down before somebody burns down their van. Now actually, as long as the solar panel array voltage is higher than the battery bank voltage and the solar panel array voltage is under the maximum voltage threshold of the solar charge controller, any panel voltage will work just fine because the charge controller will regulate a higher voltage down to a lower voltage that's more useful for charging a battery. So yes, you can absolutely use a 48 volt panel to charge a 12 volt battery bank given that you are using a properly sized MPPT charge controller. And remember, the voltage of the solar panel array can be altered when using multiple panels depending on how they're wired, which that's something we covered last week. Now earlier in this video, I also mentioned how temperature affects solar panel voltages. And that's a concept I actually covered in a previous video um, last year sometime. Uh, that was how to size a solar charge controller. And I'll leave links to both of those videos I just mentioned in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, it'd be awesome if you'd share it with somebody or a group who you think could benefit from it. And leave this video a thumbs up. Drop any questions you've got in the comments section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials. And I will see you in the next video.